Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you a card similar to this, as I am going to change it up a little bit because you cannot see all the tulips that clearly on the same colour background. So I'm just changing the background a bit. Um, I have got a card base of Purple Posy of eight and a quarter by four and seven eighths. No, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of white cardstock that is three inches by five and five eighths. And I have got a scrap of purple posy for the sentiment and a scrap of white. I have some old olive and some Highland, yeah, Highland Heather for the tulips. Now I have done some tulips. I need another big one and another small one. And as you can see, they do stand out better against the purple posy background. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So for the stamp sets I'm using this Timeless Tulips. I'm going to be using these two images and that leaf. And Honey Bee and I'm going to be doing a Big Bee. So, to get started, let's stick this white piece on. Oh, I know what else I was going to do. Hmm. I have to do it in situ now. I've glued it. So that goes over like that, leaving a big space this side. And what I was going to do was with my waterfront and purple posy ink I'm just going to put some splatter dots down this side. I do like my dots. So with the splatter dots out of waterfront, I'll have to use that one. I'm just going to put some Splatter dots down this side, like that. That's all I'm going to do. So that when you put the tulips on, there's a bit of decoration. Right, I need to make two more tulips, so I've got my Highland Heather here, I've got my tulips stamp, and this is Gorgeous Grape. Gorgeous Grape? Yeah, Gorgeous Grape. So I want one large one. and one small one. Now, there is a punch that coordinates with these tulips. I didn't buy the punch because I didn't think I'd use it. So, I'm going to cut them out by hand. They're quite easy to cut out. All you've got to do is just follow the shape round. I know a lot of people hate fussy cutting. If you're one of them and you want to get this stamp set, then by all means buy the punch. But 
but I just thought I'm not going to get the punch because I don't need it. So there is the big one. Following up all the petals all the way round, and if you notice, I am just moving the card and not the scissors. So I didn't do a leaf. Um, this I've got old olive cardstock and old olive ink, and I just stamped a leaf on it like that. Put the lid on so I don't cut my fingers. Cut my fingers. Stick my fingers in the ink. And cut a leaf out. So we're finished with them. Now we need to stamp the bee. So with my black memento ink I'm going to stamp the bee like that. And then the sentiment in purple posy no I'll do the sentiment on gorgeous grape because we need to be able to read it so we'll stick that there and we'll cut that out. And I'm going to cut the corners. Give it a bit of interest. Stick this on the purple posy and then cut round it. There's our little sentiment. I'll sit well on there. All right, we don't need them. Get rid of all the scraps. Just colour this bee in. So I've got Daffodil Delight for its... ...body.
soft sea foam for his wings. And a little bit of seaside spray just from his body. And then we'll cut that out using my small machine and a die. And there's our bee. Been a godsend that little machine. Just saves me lifting up the um uh big shot. Right, when I place these I just glued the bottom and I started from the top and oh I didn't tell you how many I did right well well I have got five I think big ones one two three four five and oh no six big ones and three small ones. So we want to add some leaves while we go as well. And I'm going to put this one. that. Another big one. And I'm going to put a leaf at the side of it. And a leaf on this side and we want a small one there and another big one there with a leaf on the side of it This big one here. And this big one at the bottom. I'll add the leaves in in a minute. And this one. Right, let's get some. Oh, I never glued this one in. But I am going to put a leaf 
other side of that. Yeah, let's cut that off. leaves I've um, got on here. Right, I did cut one in half so I want a bit of greenery poking out the middle. Oh, nearly. One more. I'll cut this one in half as well. And I'll have this one just on the side here. And this bit. a lot better than the other one. Now I'll be I'm going to have there. So I'll just glue his body. Pop him there. And our sentiment will go there. So I just need a dimensional on the back this where are they one enough no or three because there is no dimensionals under there that's it and I'm going to put on this one I never did it on the other one I think this one looks a lot better. Got some gems on it, but what I am going to do is stick them down. I'm going to put one there, one here, and one on this side. Let's put some gems on this one. So if it makes it look any better. like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified for any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday
All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.